My name is Gypsy Running Cloud. I am the principal vehicle of the community of Higuayagua. And we welcome this opportunity to dispense of some of the myths surrounding Columbus. What some people call a discovery, we call an invasion. And we would like to share some of our stories with you in the hopes that you will learn that we are a living people and that we are here as the descendants of our ancestors to share our stories, our journey, and to share that with you. And we thank you. Hahom. Ahangatu. Thank you. Hi, my name is Nana Durayari, which means girl, jewel from the sky in my ancestral language. I am Bahari for the Iguayagua, and that means that I am uh, counsel to um, the chief. Um, today I'm here to talk about Columbus and how he is not a hero. Columbus was lost at sea. We found him and saved him from drowning, uh, from starvation. And in return, he tried to destroy who we were in the name of gold, in the name of Catholicism. So he is not a hero to us. He is the enemy. He always will be. I'm Cybelle. I'm a member of the Higuayagua community. And Columbus definitely was not a hero. I mean, in evidence of his journals, I mean, he wrote very explicitly about how we would make great slaves when he landed. Ta, and I will not. Dakia Taino Burike, Dakia Tomas Ibramael Gonzalez. Greetings to all of you students that are out there. I just wanted to tell you that at this point, we're bringing a lot of points and talking about different things that happened to us. By no means do we want you to feel we're holding you responsible. You have no responsibility for this. You know, it's the ancestors, the old people. What we're speaking of is history, something already that can't be changed, but it can change now, okay? So we are going to hear a lot of neg negative things about what uh, Christopher Columbus did, but at the same time, you know, uh, we're going to be talking about our survival, and we want you to know that, you know, we are here, uh, and we will be here. I'm a member of Iguayagua. I am a Tequina, a member of the council, and uh, an elder for the tribe. My name is Kiriaki. I'm a member of Hiwayawa. Columbus would sell women to his crew members to violently rape. He was also a sex trafficker for young girls as young as nine and 10 years old. He was not a hero at all. My name is Akapasupe, which means young devil. Uh, I'm a member of Hiwayawa. Uh, Columbus says that, you know, um, he lied and said that we were extinct. Uh, even on the islands, they still say that we're extinct, but clearly you can see mm -hmm. that we're still here and we'll always be here. Hello, my name is Angel Lewis Vasquez Jr. I'm a member of Higuayagua Taino tribal community, and I would like to take a moment to speak on Columbus. I think that it's a travesty that even in today's age that we have to live out these lies about this child molester, this killer, this rapist, this invader, and to have his statues in our lands and celebrate a day named after him is just completely disgusting and completely terrible and it gives us just complete pain to see that still in today's society we shouldn't celebrate such evil actions we, it's time to celebrate the truth and bury that evil we need to remember who he is and understand what evils he truly did. He's an invader, a killer, a rapist, a child molester. And there's no room in our society for any of that. We need to understand who we are as a people and celebrate that truth and that reality and celebrate all of our differences. Uh, hello, I'm Cacique Baracute, Principal Cacique of the Higuayagua community. 
Um, I have more of a question. I'd like to know how would anyone feel if uh, we landed on your shores and discovered lands that weren't lost, that were clearly inhabited by people, and we pl pillaged and plundered, raped and robbed, and then expected a holiday in our name at the end of that. Columbus was not a hero. Columbus was a rapist, and he always will be a rapist. We understand why, from your perspective, it might seem like a discovery, but for us it was an invasion.